And that is all the more important now. As I sat at home watching those results coming in in the early hours of February the 24th, I, I felt a shudder down my spine that all of you will relate to because Europeanism, our internationalism, goes to the very heart of what liberals and liberal democrats have fought for and stood for for generations. It was, I'm reminded of Joe Grimmond a few moments ago. It was in his time, the first time, the European issue was put to a vote in the House of Commons. There were five Liberals that went through the division lobby. No one else, just those Liberals. And so times might feel lonely when we're on the losing side, the 48% versus the 52%. It doesn't diminish the message at all. We, my goodness, have been on losing sides before. And we have, have fought back. So the result does not diminish this party's commitment to Europe. I'm very proud to endorse what Tim Farron has said about our yeah, yeah. Scottish Europeanism. It is tinged with one thing, and that is respect for those that voted a different way to us, because there will come a time when we may well need many of those people to be back with us. We can talk about the campaign, there is much to say about the campaign, but we may well be in a position when we need to influence that debate at the ballot box again, whether that be a general election or a second referendum based on fact. We don't know how that's going to go. We have matters beyond our control. The other two political parties <laughs> have to be dealt with first. But I want to just use this opportunity to reaffirm our commitment, our party's belief in the European Union and our full participation. You can't travel through the mountains, the Cambria Mountains, from this constituency, Kennedy, Gill to Brecon and Radnorshire and beyond, to see the importance of the funding which we have secured, let alone the great international principles on which we stood for generations. You can't go to the South Wales Valley and not see the significance of Objective 1 and convergence funding. So the battle does go on. It was seen in the streets of London, maybe in a polite, genteel country way, as is appropriate to West Wales, we're showing it here this afternoon. So with that, can I just say please, thank you very much, please plod on, all of us plod on with new energy, because I, I have a passion about this party, and I know you do too, we're not going anywhere, we're the central creed of Armistice. Thank you.